Big game, right? You guys took on NJCU and Jack Final. You you went there early in the year. You lost. You know it was a heartbreaking one. It was one of those games where you guys nothing was going right for you guys. Turn the ball over. Shots wouldn't drop. Come back here. You beat them at on your home turf in SB Gym, and then you go back there for the NJAC title game. You know, j kind of explain what it's like to go into such a hostile environment like NJCU when there's a conference title on the line. Um, well, the first time I played them, me and Duran didn't play, so it's kind of like a different team. But uh, they, we still had a good shot to win the game. Um, going there to play for the NJAC title, um, I, obviously I'd rather play it at home. But to be able to take it from them is kind of like it's an awesome feeling. Like you have the fans yelling at us, throwing bottles after the court after the game. Um, it's just cool because like it just has another thing, another added pressure, another thing you gotta face. And we kind of embrace that like underdog mentality. And a lot of people. Going, even though we got to the conference finals, they were all like, yeah, you guys aren't winning. This isn't you guys. Like, this isn't us. And we're like, what? Like, we, <laughs> this is like we've been waiting for this. Like, we, they aren't coming. We, gotta, we will dominate them. Like, that's how we kind of come with every game. And just, like, we came with it. We had our little runs here and there. They had their runs. But, like, we're always composed. And uh, just to be able to do it there is even – it'd be cool to do it here in SB, but, like, to do it there is awesome just to take it from them. And I, I think that that confidence that you just exuded right there about your team and how strong you feel, you guys think you can win every single game no matter what. I love the sound, but I, we were talking about it beforehand. You yeah. know, Rowan Athletics, they put up a video. Coach Chris was mic'd up for that game, and, and you see they go, you guys go into the timeout, and, and we'll get into the game-winning shot in just a second, but you go into the timeout after the game-winning shot, and what does he say to you guys? He goes, look, Whatever you do, don't foul because guess what? They hit that three, we're still going to win in overtime. It doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you can, you know, say what that means to you guys knowing your coach has that much faith in you. Well, he does a great job at letting us play free, but a lot of that is just instilling confidence, and it's hard to, like, kind of see that on, the, like, on paper. But, uh, like, the ability to go for the shots, the ability to, uh, if we're up by five with, like, two minutes left, we're, we're, not, we're down by ten. Like, we're playing, like, to win, not, not to lose. So... That just mentality just provide or just gave us a lot of fire all year, and some games we may have lost early in the year because we shot a shot we may have not may not be a good shot at the end of the game, but in the end of the year we are the team that will take that shot. Where Jersey City is scared, they don't want they want to take the good shot, the everybody shot, and just that mentality will take us a long way just because we have we're just playing with more 